Welcome to Plus Tech, operating since 2010 and based in Emu Plains, New South Wales. UPVC windows are the most common window system around the world. However, in Australia, the UPVC window market is just emerging, but has been gaining momentum in the past few years. Plus Tech started as a window manufacturer to gain experience and to seed the market with high quality UPVC windows and doors. After several years of research and development, Plus Tech is now in a position to begin supplying profiles and training to new fabricators looking to join a rapidly growing market. Plus Tech is now extruding new PVC window profiles in Australia with a special composition to meet our demanding climate. Our latest addition is a profile laminating line used to apply various coloured laminates such as a metallic or timber look. This means that stock holding is minimised and short lead times are available for various colours. We are using Renolit FX foil which is designed for hot climates and guaranteed for 15 years against fading in Australia. We can provide fabricators with the IP, equipment and products to become a quality UPVC window manufacturer in Australia. To show you how simple UPVC window manufacturing can be, we would like to walk you through our production process, all the way from designing to a finished Plustec double glazed tilt and turn window. We use window maker software to design and price windows for quotes. Once a quotation is accepted, the software then provides accurate production documents to be used in the workshop or even CAD and CAM systems. The design capabilities of the software is extensive, ensuring you see and achieve exactly what you imagine. This program is also available to use by our fabricators, including the data for our profile system. With production documents now in hand, we can then collect and cut profiles. There is a large range of colors and styles in stock. We use a double head miter saw with digital measuring to achieve exact size and angle needed. Once cut and labelled, we move to drainage and ventilation. This machine, along with all our machines, are Austrian-made urban machinery. These are highly efficient and reliable machines, often used in the booming European UPVC market. Moving on to reinforcement. Each profile is reinforced inside by a length of galvanised steel or high-strength aluminium. This provides strength and restricts UPVC movement due to temperature changes. This process can be done with an automatic screw feed machine, as shown here, or by hand. Once reinforced, the last step is to prepare for the handle hardware. A simple router can be used, however, we use a slightly more automated system. There are a series of stops set up for the various handle heights, or you can use a centering handle system. The next stage is welding the profiles. Here, we are using a double head welder, placing the profiles into the machine and clamping them in place. The heating plate then moves between the profiles, which then move against the plate, melting the UPVC. When heating finishes, the plate then moves away, allowing the profiles to be pushed together to cool for 30 seconds. This creates a nice strong weld for the window. As an entry point, a single head welder is often used to start up with and is useful to have in future for raked windows after upgrading to a two or four head welder. Plustech does have a weld strength testing unit used for R&D and has a quality check to ensure our welder is operating within tolerance. The window is now taking shape and is off to the corner cleaner used to remove the welding seams. This semi-automatic spindle router machine starts off by trimming the corners of the frame. Drilling the corners of the gasket channel. And finishes with shaving internal corners and face weld seams. Entry level corner cleaners usually combine mullion and milling and corner cleaning, but the tooling can be used for more automatic machines like this one. CNC machines are a much more advanced upgrade along with automatic frame turning. The window is now ready for gaskets. This ensures that your window or door is water and airtight. Along with the double glazed glass units, good gaskets improve energy efficiency and noise reduction. On the frame of the window, there is one gasket for the sash to seal against and a thinner seal for ventilation. On the sash, two gaskets are used. One for the glass and another to seal against the frame. Drainage flashing can then be added to direct water outside of the building for hidden drains or face drains can be used when rendering is required. 
European hardware is simple and efficient to use. Snapping into the rebate provided on the profiles and turning the welded UPVC frames into a functioning plus tech tilt and turn window. Corner drives are first snapped into place. This places a locking point on the corner of the sash. Next, the drive gear is cut to length and installed. This gear is operated by the handle, not only driving the hardware around the window, but also providing additional locking points. The top scissor gear and arm are then cut to length and installed incorporating the top hinge, which allows the sash to operate in tilt or turn. Tilt mode allows your window to open only at the top, providing elevated ventilation where the warm stale air is, but also remaining locked and secure. The bottom pivot hinge is then fastened on using a simple drilling jig to pre-drill holes. Finally, for larger windows, a centre lock can be installed to give you yet again more locking points on the hinge side and bottom. The multiple locking point locations not only provide amazing security, but ensure a strong positive seal to the gaskets. To engage the multiple locking points, strikers are placed on the window frame along with hinge components. Jigs are used to place strikers and hinge components manually, but semi-automation is available to speed up the process. Finally, the sash is installed onto the frame. We're now getting close to a finished product and just need the glazing. All of our windows and doors are double glazed glass units. We glaze all our products on a vertical glazing table, which allows us to clamp the window or door square. This glazing unit allows us to glaze and adjust the window ready to be installed. It is possible to glaze on a horizontal table to start up with. First, we place our adjustable glazing wedges in the sash. Traditional glazing packers can be used, of course. However, with the cost of labour, these adjustable wedges save time in the factory and also allow easy adjustment of the glass on site if required. The insulated glass unit is trimmed of sealant if needed and installed into the window. Wedges are then tightened progressively to square up and balance the glass and sash, providing toe and heel support and ensuring smooth operation. Our glass beading is cut to size to hold the glass. A gasket is inserted on the beading to make it watertight. This beading system simply snaps in using a soft faced hammer and is easily removable if the glass ever needs to be replaced. The window is now complete. After a final quality check, it is ready for its new home. Thank you for watching, we really hope to see you soon. Stay tuned for the Windows Alliance animation about UPVC windows. Plus Tech, simply beautiful windows and doors. Available across Europe and America for the past 60 years, UPVC window profiles are the most popular choice to deliver superior and proven performance. Worldwide, more than half of all new and replacement residential windows are UPVC. That's almost 290 million window units a year, chosen for their durability, low maintenance, high energy efficiency, performance and style. The US and Europe have long focused on energy efficient windows. However, in Australia, we've traditionally used either timber frames, which are good insulators but high maintenance, or aluminium window frames, which need less maintenance than timber but have poor insulation. Thermal performance is one of the most important characteristics of a window. Double glazed PVC windows can be as much as four and a half times more energy efficient than standard single glazed aluminium. The energy efficiency of a window system is commonly defined by two measures. First, the solar heat gain coefficient, a measure of the solar radiation going through the glazing into a building, and secondly, by the U-value, the rate of heat flow through a window system. For both measures, the lower the number, the higher the performance. A common misconception in Australia is that double glazing is only for cold climates to keep the cold outside. But double glazing is also just as effective in keeping the heat of an Australian summer out. In fact, Standard glazed windows contribute to 87% of the summer heat gain in a typical Australian insulated home. Choosing double glazed units with low solar heat gain and low U values reduces or eliminates the need for expensive artificial cooling. By replacing old windows with high efficiency UPVC ones, 
you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions from household heating and cooling by more than one tonne a year. UPVC windows are considered durable with expected lifespans of 35 years and leading brands have been tested specifically for resistance to Australia's high UV. These windows will look good for years without the need for sanding or repainting and being resistant to salt are ideal for coastal locations. UPVC window profiles have been carefully engineered to incorporate multi-locking systems providing a high level of security. They can be used in a wide range of styles for old and new heritage or contemporary homes. And they come in a variety of colours. Choose with confidence from a range of quality suppliers in Australia. The UPVC Window Alliance is supported by globally leading brands committed to delivering UPVC windows you can rely on in Australia. UPVC Windows, the wise choice for windows in Australia.